phone? I can smell the vanilla stolen from here. Yell to your sister, not to me. The wicked span. And my poor cousin still is not having her pathetic leg. I miss you so much. <laughs> Can't you come over here? Don't ever call here again. Oh boy. Tony dealing with a stalker. We ought to think about bringing your wife into this. In here. Ooh. Come out. Oh. You're the one who wanted to take a more proactive approach? That's not in the future. <laughs> Let's talk frankly. Richard was right. I've been charmed by a sociopath. <laughs> Why didn't I listen? She's Why? charmed. Why did I reject a good man like Richard in the first place? I know Richard's right. I should get Tony Soprano. Oh, shit. I always thought it was that other guy in the news, little Augie April. I can't believe I revealed his name. Why did you? Does Richard know who he is? Oh, boy. I think he saw it in my daytime at once. Daytime. That's why he's been so adamant. It's, it's time to send him on to a behaviorist. Look at Janice looking for shit. <laughs> and Tony's there. Does Olivia have anything in that house hidden? Or was that all BS? I was downstairs cleaning up. Why'd you change the locks? The minute that Ukrainian die job was out the door. Don't mess with the Russians, Janice. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> don't mess with the Russians. When she returns Ma's record collection. And don't say you wouldn't have done the same thing. I'm getting calls at my house. I can't have it. Don't fuck with me, honest Janice. Give back the leg. <laughs> Give it back a leg. The records are yours too. They're a window into Ma's soul. <laughs> He's like, she has no soul. <laughs> I'm making a documentary. The World War II generation and their music exemplified by Ma. Who the fuck are you kidding? You're gonna sell them on the internet. Uh huh. I have work to do. Yeah, right. Cleaning up the cellar. Don't <laughs> mind, Janice. You make more money working a real job. Right. I'm trying real hard here. I know it's tough on you. I'm the guy that's dating your mom. Date. Don't get fucking filthy about it. <laughs> It was a good idea she had. I was going out to dinner. Not that I think one conversation ever solved anybody's problems. I'm only here so I don't have to hear her bitching and crying. What is all this, Ralphie? How to stick a shish kebab up your ass. <laughs> You'll fuck your wife until she moans. Fucking what? You began it, huh? Oh, oh boy. You bring my wife into this? Huh? Oh hey, boy. Hey, mister, come on. Oh! Get the fucking back! You ready? Get your fucking asshole! Pull this prick! In the bed mask! Good kid! Introduce him to his desk! Why would you start something when you're outnumbered? What are you doing this to me? That's what you get for using a baseball bat. Let's go. Oh. And they robbed him too. I'm putting a friend in over there. It's Captain. No. Fucking Gigi, are you shitting me? Sorry. This bullshit with the Arab. So I went over the top, but I'll take care of it on a people level. It's my decision. Mm -hmm. He's the boss. Jesus Christ. Oh. I ain't been at your house. It's just business. I think you're ready to move on to behavior modification therapy. What's that mean? Talk to somebody else? Mm. I'm sorry, but like you said, it, <laughs> Tony's like, I want to stay with you. I mean, it took me how long to remember it even happened. I realized that. You know, you're fucking unbelievable. I asked you to get serious in here. And when it gets hard, you point me off on somebody else. He's mad. Why are they showing her? Something gonna happen to Dr. Melfi? Someone's gonna rob her. Shut up. Don't turn around. I said shut up. Oh! No! Oh no! The fuck is this dude? I'll give you all my money! No! No! Oh, 
Fuck! What the fuck? For God's sake, Jim. Oh. You're all right. You're gonna be all right. I thought that I I broke my leg, but it's just really badly sprained. Him? Yeah, God. We apprehended somebody with the description out of Popeye's chicken, not far from the scene. This is Detective Purcell. He's been great. There's a way to describe this. It's, it's overwhelming. Of course. I can't believe that Stop happened it. to her. Rossi lives over in Elizabeth, 28 years old, no fires. <laughs> Rossi, it's an Italian name. I just want to take a shower, okay? We'll be done here soon. Oh, I can't believe that happened to her. <sighs> Hello, may I speak to Anthony Soprano, please? He's not available to the phone right now. Who may I tell him is calling? This is uh, Jennifer Melfi. A little car accident, but I'm fine. She bounced. She was in a car accident. She has to cancel your next appointment. <sighs> How is he going to feel when he, if she tells him? Really? What happened? I don't know. She didn't say. Oh, Sopranos just got real. It got sure. really real just now. You know, you can uh, get a try this for the rest okay. of your life. Okay, so it's official. Yes, Joe Langer. Season okay. 3, episode 4 was the episode to break me the fuck down. What's going on? Well, why? I mean, that's absurd. That's ridiculous. Bridget, what happened? It isn't even Pearsall. She's moved over to jewelry. She never said anything about that. So you just let him go? Are you fucking crazy? I don't fucking care if you're sorry. Richard. Oh, jeez. What happened? What happened? They mishandled the chain of custody, so they had to let him go. What chain of custody? They let him go? Somebody misplaced the evidence kit for a, a little while. Or something. I don't know what the fuck they did, those stupid idiots. Did they just let him <sighs> out until the trial? Because I can't identify him. They just have to let him Call Tony and let Tony handle that fucker. That's impossible. You must have misunderstood. Give me the phone. I, I want to call them. I don't know what to say. What? They, uh, they had to let him go because they failed out the chain of custody. <sighs> Deserted parking garages were a huge percentage of these attacks happened. You think this is my fault? You blame me for what happened, don't you? Oh. How many times did I tell you to call the security guard when you left work late? Let me tell you something. Don't make her feel bad. If I hadn't have been on the phone with you, maybe I would have seen that guy in the stairwell. What? You and your fucking heart on about my patient. You should have seen your face. And you heard that that fucking shitbag that raped me had an Italian name. This is so misdirected. Fucking words about your self-esteem. Or well, maybe you don't have enough. Oh shit. Jennifer. Fuck you, Richard. <laughs> Jen. <laughs> she said, fuck you, Richard. I just want to go find that bastard and kill him with these hands, Jen. And I could. They put me in jail. That's how messed up things are. Right. Come here. No. Oh. He loves Christopher. I love you. Better nothing happen to Christopher. I swear to God, they're gonna make me cry twice. Oh God, she's back in that stairwell. Hell no. Oh my God. Oh, and he's there. Is she gonna tell him? What's the other guy look like? Oh my gosh, is she gonna tell him? I feel like she's gonna tell him. I'm okay. An innocent person is driving along, minding their own business, and some fucking asshole comes out and smashes into him. 
You can't control everything that happens. That guy was wearing a red hat like those workers there. What if she sees him there? That's him! Fuck. He works right... The hat. I knew it. I knew it. What is this? What is this? Oh no. Continuation. The Russians. Do you know who I am? Do you know who my brother is? Mother, what? What did you say? Motherfucker! Ah! Ah! Oh! 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 Shit! Those records are all I had to remember my mother by. What could it possibly mean to her? Fuck you, you are cowards. He's like, give me that fucking leg back. The hell? Is she dreaming? Oh, bitch. Oh, no. Yeah, she's definitely dreaming. Oh shit. What happened? Janice. I never broke three ribs. <gasps> what did I tell you? Hmm? I told you I went to mesh with those people. <laughs> I was supposed to be married at this point in my life. Yeah, so? The man I love died. This is all I fucking need. Thanks, Janice. What? What do you mean, what? They slapped my sister around. Uh. Well, I have to get payback. Oh, boy. It's always something when you isn't it. <laughs> He's like, you caused this. You know cause when did I get like this? You really want to know? To that time, I was functioning at a very high level. High level. <laughs> He's like, I can't with you. God. Oh, Lord. I've hit bottom 20. Born again in the Lord. Oh, jeez. And I, I pray to God. She acting. And I asked to. Janice, we've been here before with uh, Vishnu and Richard fucking Albert and the Coyote Spirit. And you know what it always spells? Trouble for the rest of us. <laughs> and I gotta get the fuck out of here. Mm -hmm. I give myself up utterly. I'm totally the God. Oh, jeez. Shut up, Janice. <laughs> She's like, I'm born again. I've been, uh, making my list. And I've been thinking about your behavior therapy idea. Um, maybe you got a point. No. You sure about that? Because the last couple of times I've been getting a distinct feeling that you give me the boot. The boot. She's gonna tell him. Uh, What's the matter? What I do. <laughs> what I do. Come on, huh? Oh. <laughs> She's gonna tell him. What's the matter? Go sit over there. Go. It's just my name. Tell him. Tell him. He looks so concerned. Tell him! You, you wanna say something? No. She's not gonna tell him? Oh! Oh, Oh, I don't know how to feel right now. It's like a part of her wants to tell him. Why am I so emotional? 
it's like a part of her wants to tell him but she doesn't want to tell him because she knows what he'll do Oh, God. Okay, I'm, I'm emotional because of what happened to her. What happened to her, obviously. But I'm also emotional because she was that fucking close to, like, saying something to Tony about it. Because it's, like, true, you know. The justice system um, cannot work in so many fucking scenarios where the person or the victim is like left where they can't do anything and they feel totally helpless and I and I feel Dr. Melfi if she feels like she can um you know get some type of revenge or or justice whatever you want to call it by telling Tony about it but then I feel like she also feels like if she did that then it goes against everything that she is, you know, as a person, and, oh, that was an emotional episode, I can't believe that they did that shit, I did not see that coming, not once did I see Dr. Melfi getting attacked in that, in that way, <sighs> all right, <laughs> I need, I need to stop, because it's too early for this, oh my god, I'm crying, Alright y'all comment down below on your thoughts of this episode. I'm interested to know what, you know, viewers out there think about this episode. It was very intense. You know, after seeing that scene with Dr. Melfi, I couldn't even really like concentrate on the rest of the episode because I'm just like, oh my god, did that really just happen? Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment down below, share my video. Season 3 of The Sopranos Episode 4 done. Bye guys.